Well, I think I'm going to work on the negative side. And I did get a comment from, oh, where are you at? Martin Kubis? Martin Kubis. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Um, he asked, why didn't I just move the bus bar down one cell, basically right here, and I wouldn't have to worry about putting heat shrink down here which is a very very good question why didn't i do that well i have no fucking clue it just happened to come out like this yeah that's pretty much what i did i just set it down and went to work so i could for the next 11 packs change it to here since i already soldered all of these fuses on i'm not going to unsolder them and move it but i kind of like the look of these little red ends now for some reason like i'm kind of attached to it so i'm gonna probably continue doing that so i'm gonna for the negative side in black uh, i got a new roll of black for this purpose so why not just keep going with it keep rolling i guess that's what we'll do and I couldn't decide what I was going to use for the negative side. And I found this copper in my little scrap bin right over there. And I mean, it, it's not like small enough that it would be a fuse, even though I guess technically it could be a fuse. It would probably be a very high amperage fuse. I can measure it real quick. 0.55 millimeters. So it's, it's not thick, but it's not real thin either. And for how short it will be, I don't think the voltage loss through this would be ridiculous. So I, I think I'm going to give this stuff a try. Um, I think I've got quite a bit more in there already, so why not try it? So that's what I'm going to do. 0.55 millimeter wire for the negative side. So let me go ahead and put the uh, heat shrink on the negative side. Oh shit, it's a little thick. Ah, fuck it, whatever. I think it's a nice touch. Okay, well, let's uh, get the show on the road. Let me move some of these over. Not sure if I set this on the top yet, if it'll mess anything up or not. So I'm gonna probably flip it over onto the piece of cardboard to give it something a little more softer. I guess we'll find out if any of them break, right? Yeah, I'll go with that. Okay, so I'm gonna go the opposite way, of course, this time. And if you didn't know, you should do it the opposite way, is if you have both terminals on the same end, you'll be pulling most of your power from this side of the pack or the side that has the terminals on. But if you put the terminals on the opposite side, it has no choice but to use all batteries, basically. So yeah, that's, that's why you go on the opposite side. I guess while the glue gun heats up, I can put some solder on the bottom of the cells. A little friend over here took my chair. Yeah, some of these kind of are down a little further. The way that they're sitting right now, that might be a little tricky. Okay, I got a little solder dot on each one. Now I'm gonna kind of just set this in place and hot glue it. Really just the hot glue is kind of just to hold it there while I solder.
heat up the uh, bus bars now. I know the first one takes uh, a little bit longer.